the chances are very, very high that Trump will win Minnesota and the Republicans will take Minnesota, which would be a major shock to pretty much everyone. Um, which takes us to Wisconsin. I almost left Wisconsin out for two reasons. Number one, it's a small state. Good evening, secret kings and queens. This is the Gammon Chief, E. Scorpio, coming at you live with your special GSK election review. This is going to be a fast-paced episode, so let me bring out my guest, Mr. Faget Bear himself, Oso de Maricón. Oso, are you still there, sir? I am indeed. All right, my friend. Oso, we have a bit of a different episode tonight. Um, of course, we will have the not only the election results that will matter uh, at the end of the show, the uh, Gamma of the Week, but we're, right. also, we're also going to be talking about the U.S. presidential election and more specifically how it affects our favorite anti-heroes of the Grifterverse. Indeed. There's a lot, a lot of stock moving up, stock moving down. We're here to cover all the market moves. Yes, and the uh, the the Vegas odds also. <laughs> yeah, uh, I have I have predicted loaded for us. Like we're, I'm I'm ready. All right, let's go ahead and we got one brief news story that we have to to cover very quickly. Let's get it out of the way as we transition to Gamma News. Excellent Gamma News transition provided by Ford. We also provided. Brand new holding uh, scene at the very beginning. The so, great yeah. irony is that we subside on donations. <laughs> let's go. let's go. Oh, this shit. this was doing this to me earlier. Let me see. Let me go ahead and go. Oh, it's doing it again. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna as I fix this, we'll go ahead and uh, introduce it. And our first story is. Owen Benjamin's alleged sexual assault of Brendan Crick. Why don't you uh, set that up for us while we while I get this thing straightened out? So for those of you who have never followed a bunch of comedians on social media, about every six months or so, they accuse each other of sexual assault. And uh, it'll start in one city, usually New York or L.A. And uh, there will be these long social media posts about how some awful traumatizing experience at a comedy club and we as a comedy community need to be better than this blah 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 and then every other city will hold suit and they'll try to like out their sexual accusers whatever whatever but the comedy clubs have all been closed so they have to run on fumes now and brandon crick this comedian uh i listened to his podcast i think one time uh goes and he says well i'm basically the person uh, in E. Scorpio's documentary that everybody said E. Scorpio made up and it was right. uh, like his son <laughs> or something. So so we're looking at, I got it, I got it pulled up, thankfully. Uh, we're looking at it now and this is, let me read it really quick. This is his actual tweet uh, and still not your friend put this up two days ago. Comedian from Owen Benjamin, debased and cringe-pilled, finally comes forward and the gentleman's <laughs> name is Brendan Crick, and this is actually on November second. That was that that this was a very good birthday present from Mr. Crick. Um, he says here, I goof around a lot, so I just want to be clear here. Owen Benjamin grabbed me and picked me up. He's six foot four and I'm five foot two, and tried to force uh, me to make solid out solid ankle him. bite there, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, he's he's not. Uh, up to date on the mythos, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, the six foot eight. It's it's he's grown four inches since <laughs> since the, the assault. Turp uh, works wonders. <laughs> Turp exactly. Uh, he continues and tried to force me to make out with him. Not sure why I'm tweeting this now, but seeing his name in my timeline made me feel sick. Well, so. that's a normal response to hearing his name, whether he ever tried to forcibly make out with you or not. <laughs> That's correct. That's why he's banned from everywhere. Like, get with the program. But yeah, Uh, I don't know. Like, 
I, I, I feel for the kid. Uh, I, kid, he's a grown ass man, but I, I, I feel for him. Uh, I wish it well, and I hope he takes him to arbitration. <laughs> well, when I, um, and I have, I have a, uh, the full interview with them. I think I was able to talk to him for, for, at least, at least have him on the record for at least maybe 15 to 20 minutes. But I, I, of course I could only use so much, uh, for the documentary because at that time he was, uh, wanted, wished to remain anonymous. So right. now that he's put, you know, putting out, he's identified himself. He's putting, uh, more details out there. Um, it might be time to revisit those interviews. Maybe I can put them out here soon. Um, <clears throat> I'm sure I'd have to ask him first to make sure he's okay with it. But as I said, he's already provo- uh, filled in a lot of the blanks himself. This is another uh, huge uh, thing to point to in the long history of Gamma SJW alliances, is it not? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And did, uh, <laughs> the Twitter SJWs jumped all over it. Yeah, I think I think he is definitely... I mean, he can't win Gamma of the Week, but obviously he's the winner of the Go Forth Award this week, given to <laughs> a, a non Gamma who nonetheless does a solid ankle jump. I mean, just calling him foot, six foot four alone is, is beautiful. <laughs> but well, and and uh, I I don't remember if it was in if it made the actual cut. I think I think that it might have, but this whole time, I mean, that's quite a size difference there. I mean, you you imagine how it went down. Right, and dare I say, it's a little like it's a child. <laughs> or is that an early is that an early manifestation of Islamo Christian values? Do you think it might be? But he didn't marry him, so he couldn't oh, consent. Wait, what year did this happen? This was like twenty twenty what? Uh, I believe it was twenty fourteen, twenty fifteen. Yeah. Oh, so he's he's getting like mid era, like po- like uh, early decline. Yeah, that would have been um, Sullivan and Son era. All right. Well, I, I I'll I'll talk to you more like specifically about this, but I uh, I how many people were at this comedy club? Because it could. It, I, I would love to get to find like people that were in the audience, like, <laughs> but I don't want to like be detective on the on the GSK review, especially when, you're, when we're trying to like bang bang down the line. So right, yeah, we, yeah. We, 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 we'll table this discussion for later. But if we could find other people who were there at the show, that would that would be stellar. But anyway, neither here nor yeah, there. You're you're right, and and uh, as I said, as um. As I go through those tapes, um, maybe by next week we'll have something more to speak on. Um, but yeah, let's let's move it along. We're getting um, that's our our one and only news story for the night. Um, it was we we had to mention it because this was the, in my opinion, the big one for this this week. Let's go ahead and go to our gamma election special transition provided by Mr. Fornerhoon. I can't know. <laughs> it's a, it's a GSK election review 2020 and it has a flag of an Israeli flag flying in the background. <laughs> it's our two signs of paychecks. <laughs> yeah. Two makes the subs possible. Let's uh let me see. Let me pull it. So before we move on to their stories, let's let's touch briefly on Let's try to make sense of what's going on here for the people at home. Uh, as far as the election results are, are turning out. You want me to make sense of it? I was right. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need to know. Ted was wrong. And, listen, to, listen to Ted get misled. And what, what, what specifically, though? What specifically were you right on? So Ted and a lot of people in the inner and recent Tediverse were uh, proclaiming that there would be what they called a Trump slide, that Trump would win a huge uh, electoral and popular vote victory. And this was the part that was nuts, because uh, you almost have to be bad at math to see that to to, to think that Trump was going to win the popular vote, because, you know, he would need to make up 
four or five million votes. And the theory from everybody was that there's all these shy Trump supporters that people are either people are too terrified yeah. to tell anonymous pollsters or automat- automated pollsters. A lot of these are like you press a number uh, pollsters and they thought that Antifa would come kill them. That was one thing or two that they, that they were all in on some big grand practical joke. This is the Boomer Scott theory. <laughs> uh, that this is that this is this one giant dad joke, and that come election day, oh man, uh, oh those shit lips would be crying in the streets, and neither came to pass. And what people what 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 you fail to understand is that while the polls were wrong in 2016, it's not like the pollsters like kept the same shitty methodology. They got better at the shit. So, I mean, they were still wrong, but they were yeah a lot closer this time, and they weren't even like super wrong. In 2016, in a lot of the like state by state races, like they, the, the, you know, whatever. Yeah, and I, I, uh, I don't. Uh, I've been, I've been following the the campaign season, uh, just cursorily, because I got out of uh, politic watching a long time ago. Of course, I've been watching the results as they come in uh, since yesterday. Um, but it's not it's it's kind of in my opinion nothing has changed from the last election as far as the media coverage goes uh, we're still we're still looking at at least uh, in 2016 though we had the results fairly quickly this one's looking like what it's going to take uh, at least by Friday to have some of these state results yeah however it, I had predicted up predicted is the prediction market and it shows you what people are betting on what's happening and all the contracts cash out at a dollar if they happen and one cent if they don't. And they're saying that there is essentially a 56 percent probability that somewhat that there is a declared winner tomorrow. And that's oh, really. <clears throat> yeah, that's defined as both CNN and Fox News declaring the same person. OK, and you're to be, still to, so... to, be, to be the winner. And um, another thing, Boomer Scott predicted that. Uh, the uh, that they would that they would basically predict the opposite that that what CNN would would declare the race for Biden. Oh, okay. Fox is because then there would be two movies, one screen, and he would prove to be right. And you yeah. know that's really what's important is you know. Well, we're gonna them, talk them more be, about them um, being right about something. Just like if a, if just like if a child is raped, that you know that's a good thing because I mean Ted was right about some dumb point about Hollywood. He, yeah, yeah, and and we're gonna talk about uh, both those men in a little bit. Um, specifically, that about uh, uh, Boomer Scott and uh, having, you know, he- hedging his bets and having two answers prepared ahead of time. Um, but what we're looking at now is we did an an informal poll on the GSK uh, beginning Monday, and it just closed this morning. And we asked the Gamma Secret Kings who they thought was going to win the U.S. presidential election. Now we have, uh, we had a total of 66 votes. 26 voted, that, that uh, they said Donald Trump was going to win. 18 said Joe Biden was going to win. Now that surprised that me. me. I, didn't, I, <laughs> I didn't expect uh, Joe to get so many votes. Um, and then we had our third option. We had 22 votes cast for AOC's massive jugs. And that that's where my vote went. But um, that that makes sense. What? Well, I mean, we could look at this a number of ways. That's uh, that's 40. That's 40 votes total for Democrats. So that's kind of that's kind of also surprising given the uh, is how they get you. Well, exactly. That's that's the whole point of them. Um, Only the shit libs uh, voted. That's the problem. Well, I, I heard there were th- I heard there were 300 votes that they just delivered in the middle of the night. That's that's the best is that the dude lost by like three million votes. And and, and, and now we're going to hear like every conspiracy theory about, oh, my God, like six different states. They all cheated. But there's never been a close election in U.S. history where the side that lost didn't say the other side cheated. It's yeah. it, this is a very American thing we're seeing. And it's not going to end in a civil war or anything. Right. No, end. it's 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 very reminiscent of the last several elections, um, except for uh, well, 2016, of course, was very close. Um, I remember the Obama ones being not so close because uh, just because 
Uh, McCain and Romney were uh, horrible candidates. Um, but I remember the Bush years were, it, I mean, of course, 2000, we had the uh, the Florida debacle, the Hanging Chad debacle. Right. Um, Elian Gonzalez. Yeah. Yeah, it was. <laughs> so, I mean, this is, yeah, like you said, it's nothing new. And it's, that's why I, one of the reasons why I, I tend to stay away is because nothing really changes. And whether whether whoever wins or loses, it's going to be close in this election. Also, it's it's just going to be more the same. Um, are you then going to you're sticking with Biden then for the winner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, full di- full disclosure, I bet on him. So uh, oh, you bet I, on Biden? Had him, yeah, uh, I had him to win the presidency at I think what at, at one place at seventeen to one and at one place at twenty to one before uh, the South Carolina primary. And I, I, I had a whole bunch of Amy Klobuchar too, uh, <laughs> which, <laughs> did, which didn't work out so well, but yeah. Oh, More man. than made up for it with my, with, with my Biden, with my Biden best. Well, in this, um, in this poll we did. And, we... And, and, and this is the difference between, between the, between the GSKR and the old grifters is I just disclosed the financial interest I had. <laughs> yeah. In this in this poll that we did, we we all gave our our predictions somewhat, and as I said, you voted for Biden. You're sticking with your thing. I, uh, excuse me, you predicted Biden was going to win, and you're sticking with your prediction. Right. I predicted Trump was going to win narrowly, and uh, I'm a man of my word. I'm going to stick with that prediction. We'll see how it goes. You're saying probably as soon as tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Other people are saying Friday. What? Uh, what do you what do you expect? What states do you think they're gonna pick up? Uh, 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 I haven't been paying like super close attention. I just think things will regress basically back to the historical mean. Well, there so, is. Uh, I, I I think Hillary was anomalous in the in like how much people hated her and like in how like funny it kind of was to like have this awful woman hoisted upon you and basically be told you're gonna like her or else, and then like prank them and put in like the meme reality TV guy. But now you're like sick of everybody's bullshit and people like being voluntarily mentally insane for social media likes. So you really just want politics to be boring again. And I can totally get that. So, yeah, yeah I think we've, we've talked about that in the past. Uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. We won't, I guess we won't get too we, much. Like if we, could, if we could just get the stupid people out of politics, I would really appreciate it. Like get, get like get them on pro wrestling again. Get them on, like, <laughs> We need. I don't know if we need bars to open or what, but. Well, maybe we should something. just go whole hog the other direction and and turn it into an actual wrestling match. We should go whole David Hog and tweet about his pubes. <laughs> deep lore right there. Deep, yes, deep. That's deep. That's going back uh, almost to the last damn election. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. So let's. Um, Let's go ahead and concentrate on some of our select grifters. Uh, first, we got Ted, and uh, let me pull it up really quickly. We we played the we played the uh, clip at the beginning, and I'm sure you're familiar with it. Um, it was Ted calling uh, Minnesota for Trump, which yep. actually did not happen. Huh? Yeah, go figure. Um, so we got this one from. This is actually a late entry. Uh, this is one hour ago from Carl Green Magic, and I don't know about you, but uh, if you've noticed, but I've noticed the the GSK sub has been popping today. It right. seems like there's there's it, been stuff coming in since early this morning. Yeah, all, all the, damn the, day. There's, there's been an awful lot of uh, rec- recriminations, <laughs> and it's been. Um, it's like the Selena song, "Solo Photos e Recriminations Over Trump." <laughs> <laughs> we have it was an exciting day for the gammas there, there's a lot of right well the thing is we nobody's nobody's having more fun than us and nobody was ever going to have more fun than us because it was preordained <laughs> that like one trump wasn't going to win the popular vote so like these people that came in here were like i'm going to be back to taunt you like after the yeah. trump slide <laughs> like that was not going to happen to begin with uh two so, so that wasn't going to happen and then uh, 
Yeah, and then after that, he just, you know, kind of lost entirely, and that uh, made it even funnier. So, uh, yep. Well, and, you and you're referring to <clears throat> some people that were <laughs> recent recent uh, converts, let's, let's, to put it mildly, to put it nicely. Right. They were, um, some of these people were, were or are uh, unironic followers of Ted. Um, so, of course, they're going to, buy into whatever he's putting out there uh which is what we're looking at now this is the last this is from one hour ago this came out ted published this at about 5 30 p.m i believe that's eastern time uh and he proclaims nothing is over we have oh and then it starts it starts out with something from freaking 4chan he puts (laughs) he puts something from 4chan i think it was uh it looks like it was uh, a Donald Trump tweet that was uh, copied over at 4chan. Uh, it says, Ted says, this and not the election is the real test of President Trump. In his discourses, Machiavelli lamented how societies fall because good men refuse to do what needs to be done in order to save them. But it appears that Donald Trump is not going to be a good Republican. Sell out his supporters. Look the other way. And pretend that a significant part of the vote for his opponent was not fraudulent. So, what does that say to you? Uh, oh, so this is like one of many that Ted put out today. Kind of. It sounds to me like it, this is the reverse of Trump watches my streams because it's uh, I'm recruiting <laughs> Trump to my LARP. <laughs> Like, I'm really amazed this didn't end with an offer for, like, Trump to come join Unauthorized. <laughs> well, the night's, he'd be, the night's not over. He'd be, he'd, be, he'd be the first former president to open his presidential library out of Vimeo pay template. <laughs> oh, man. So he had uh, – we've had a, a fair share of the uh, – a, a, a great deal of LARP today, speaking of which. Coming the LARP has been LARP. very heavy. And I don't know what meds Jefferson Kim is on, but he's put up like 10 videos so far. Oh, wow. Um, this is a tier 9, tier 10 cow. I'm sorry. Like, we, I, I, if we're going too deep in the lore, let me know. But, oh, man, talked, he's been, he's been really Jefferson fired up. Past. Yeah, he's, he's, he's put out a bunch of videos. They're all terrible. Don't listen to any of them <laughs> under 2X, but... <laughs> Uh, but it's, it, it's plenty of opportunities to be a single digit viewer. I, I feel there should be some sort of award uh, in the sub if you are one of the first 10 viewers for one of these people. So we had Kim going off. We had uh, let me pull up another one, because uh, as I said, Carl, Carl's Carl Green, Mr. Carl Green Magic has been on fire today. He had another one that came out earlier. I want to read you this one. I don't know if you saw it. It was another comment from uh from Ted's uh, blog, one of his blog comments. Uh, here it is. Those are probably gold right about now because he's all he's done is written about how hard Trump is going to win. And I'm sure the comments are like, yes, Dark Lord. Oh, axe emoji, axe emoji, axe emoji. Yeah, let me read this one really quick. This is from this is from other Josh. And he begins. Trump does have a divine mandate. God did not give us such a unique individual just to have him booted from power over after four years. It's obvious Satan hates this man and is doing everything to remove him. And his willing minions on his earth are following those orders. I, I don't know if that inc- uh, includes you, Oso. Um, well, here's the thing. So ever since the Kurgan AMA, I've been taken to uh, just quoting the Kurgan AMA in everyday life. <laughs> and... Here presents a great opportunity because who was the first SJW, Scorpio? Who was the first SJW in in all of history? Yeah, do you do you know Kurgan's Kirk, oh, answer to this one? Yeah, it was uh, Satan, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Lucifer. <laughs> so yeah, it would make sense that he hates Trump. <laughs> yeah, and and they always double down. So. Um, That's probably why they even ran a candidate against him. You know, so I, I, this this is why I now if it appears like we're uh, making fun of um, these people, it's because we are. But that's not to say that we're making fun of uh, Trump supporters. It's just a, a particular type of Trump supporter. This one here that 
I mean, there's obvious uh, a difference. The LARP. The, the, yeah. The LARP. Well, when you're saying that <laughs> Trump was divinely mandated and that what else do they got going on here? Uh, <laughs> oh, man, there's a there's a bunch. That's of a big Q thing, though, is uh, giving Trump divine qualities and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's big in the churches now, like especially the ones where they got like a real low requirement in terms of theological degrees for the clergy where just any old schmuck like with a cdl can just start preaching any given day it's it, it, it's bigger in those regions which is why that also was featured in the kirk and AMA. but anyway yeah so you know, we, need, we need to get p folks on the record just like we got the american people on the record and it turns out they didn't agree with the divorced dads which apparently is reason for succession yeah <laughs> uh, <laughs> whatever <laughs> well speaking of on the record you're just so just so we know you are actually a, a conservative because there's been a there's been questions about that <laughs> yeah, or, <sure>. or, not. <laughs> or not i mean what, what do you, you what do you, what, do you, what do you want me to do you want me to tell you i'm a shit lib sure there you go no i'm are you are you what do you consider yourself a republican or a democrat if, if, uh, we're, if we're gonna be simplistic about it the last I think I'm a registered independent now. I think the last time I was registered, I was registered as a Republican to vote for Dr. No. I was young. <laughs> Dr. No? Yeah, Ron Paul. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was really into Ron Paul for a while. But then a whole like culture of cringe developed around, around Ron Paul, and I wanted absolutely no part of that. That was yeah. like early grifting, early cringe was... Some of these people that like wanted to get rid of age of consent laws and <laughs> whatever else. Yeah, the, li the libertarian crowd that you. Uh... Right. Like a lot of those people like wound up going to Keen and we've, we, we've talked about them quite a bit. Yeah. Um, let me see how are we doing on time. Let's uh, let's. Uh, OK, so that was Ted. So Ted's takes. Let's let's wrap it up with Ted. As usual, he was way off. Mr. Vox yeah. Day. <laughs> but he, but it's beautiful because he can't – this isn't a deadline that he can just like kick off on something. He was just straight up wrong and he's just got to straight up eat a pile of shit. Yeah, and uh, I'm sure no which, – which is, which, is, which is why like I went with a, math, with, like, a mathematically probable prediction. Like if I would have been wrong, nobody would have been like, how could you have ever thought that? Uh, I went with something pretty like in line with what was expected whereas uh, Ted gets hit to – you know – Q is a terrible psychic, but apparently more reliable than the mainstream media because that's the big virtue signal is yeah. talking about how, you know, X is more reliable than blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Yeah. We've we've heard that from Ted and uh, Kurgan at the very mm -hmm. least. Uh, so, yeah. And, and as has often been the case, right wing SJWs always double down. So we can we won't be expecting any humble pie from uh, Mr. Vox Day anytime soon. Right. And I knew this would happen. I knew that as soon because uh, Ted said, if, you know, if if Trump loses, then this will prove that, you know, Q is just some shitty LARP. And I'm like, no, if Trump loses, all Ted's going to do is talk about cheating and how everyone's out to get him and how this is, you know, this is the downfall of society. And this is how societies collapse and get your keep your hate speech off this campus. Well, we won't get into this too much right now, but it appeared that there was something like that already uh, in the works. I don't know if you saw that post from Awful Lies where they're getting ready to. I I can't tell exactly what the hell, but they're getting ready to. Move no, to a new I'll tell you what happened. I I know the I know the post you're talking about. Here's what happened. So, uh, <laughs> they they have their cringe LARP group, the Dread Ilk, <laughs> yeah. and one of their outer tier realms of communication, which means their fucking Facebook group. <laughs> Got shut down, and then they have a second tier, an inner tier of communications, which is probably Telegram, you know, or it's a kick, something, something, something like that. And then uh, now, now they talk on that, but it's necessary to get on a blog spot <laughs> to communicate to make sure that, 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 that. Well, and I was thinking that that it might have been a the result of a solid ankle bite from our own NMW. Uh, because they put out 
an actual URL. They put out it was voxday. Was it voxday.net or voxpopoli.net, something like that? Um, yeah. But this was after NMW called him out for not having not having a domain of his own. <laughs> so that's that's my theory. But uh, anyway, folks, that's uh, that's our first crypter of the night uh, and his horrible predictions. Vox Day. Uh, let's move on to another one of our favorites, Mr. Mike Thernovich. And <laughs> this is by Ancon. And it says Cernovich now retire. We're going to we're going to run his uh, follower count to the rafters. <laughs> Cernovich quits politics to LARP as election monitor. And we have a tweet from Cerno. And it says, it, it, he retweets himself as he often does. Should I go to Arizona and monitor the yeah, vote he loves it. process? <laughs> and he says, his, in reply to himself, on our way. See you tonight, Arizona. What so else is going he going to do? Go to work? Wouldn't, well, of course not. But wasn't he retiring from politics? I, I'm pretty sure we yes, talked about after, that last after week. the election, and then the election <laughs> happened, and here we are. <laughs> so what what are you what are you calling on this one? Do you think he's going to follow through, or? Oh, I'm sure he went to Arizona. Yeah, just but, not in a poll watching capacity. Yeah, no, not. Oh, oh what's going to happen? He's going to walk up there in some floral shirt with his mad bun and some awful sunburn on his face. Uh, you know, sounding like Snagglepuss <laughs> and uh, demand to watch ballot counts. No. <laughs> you, you know what he'll do is he'll go and he'll say he monitored the vote count, but what the vote count he'll monitor is Pennsylvania because Philadelphia is live streaming their ballot count oh, so they can't be accused. So they can't be accused of corruption. So uh, anybody can kind of claim that they monitored the vote count if you just watch that now. So I would look out for that just like before the election. I called it. I said, everybody who uh, raises money for pizza is grifting. Uh, and lo and behold, yeah. you saw no pictures of pizza being delivered anywhere because <laughs> there really weren't all that many lines. And yep. Well, let me uh, let me check the uh, chat really quickly. <clears throat> like to recognize the contributors. Uh, we got Elise M. In first place with 170 lemons, a still nacho friend with 50 lemons. In second place, Surge Duck in third place with 50 lemons, Rue City with 33, and Starshine with 10. So thank you very much, folks. Um, oh, so I I wanted I wanted part of the focus to be on which way these men are gonna go. What which way is Cerno gonna go? Is he gonna? Do you think he's gonna stay out of politics? All right. Maybe. So there's an interesting theory that all people came up with that he's potentially changing funders. And then this whole ayahuasca thing is like a thing, a, a way for him to change teams, basically, and that he's going to get oh, whacked man. out of his mind on drugs and then come back and basically become a shitty Marianne Williamson. Well, that's uh, what would you call that? 5D grifting? <laughs> right. <laughs> Underwater basket weaving. But it's it's. uh it's uh, again earlier you made the wrestling the pro wrestling analogy and i mean just that's why it's how, so dumb right yeah <laughs> just how all of this stuff has gone with all of these men with the election with everything it's just it's too much it's something that you could definitely see happening but it's another um a heel shout turn. out to revenge of the sisters fight today as well <laughs> i didn't wind up clipping that one i didn't add them to the list um, but yeah, that that was uh, I saw that on Alan Powell's we, channel. We would that. be remiss if we did, if we did not, in fact, shout that out. At least mention it, yeah. Um, so I mean, we can. Wh what do you think about those guys? Which way are they going to go? <clears throat> Is it Splitsville? Or? Uh, <laughs> I mean, who really cares? Like they, 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 they <laughs> there's not much. There's no there there. Well, here's and, the thing. And, and the and the one guy shouts, and I hate that. But uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, the the couch one. Um, yeah, and that's Couch why one. that's why I don't. That's why I tend not to mention those guys too much because I don't see them as being that important, <clears throat> especially not in the the tier of grifter that we usually discuss. And th th these are people that literally have you know, forty five live viewers on YouTube, and the rest is their view bots. It's uh, <laughs> they, they they ran the metrics. It's a pretty it's a pretty low. 
lo low traffic. Like it's not much more than you know a, a Kurgan or something like that. <laughs> what does oh. Kurgan pull in for views? Maybe like <clears throat> a high two, low three digits on average. Uh no, not even, not even, not definitely not three digits. No, um, I <laughs> when I've checked. <laughs> When I've checked in from time to time, I think the most that he, the most that I've ever seen him had, uh, have was when he did those little uh, crossovers, if you will, with the gammas. And I think at that time he uh, he was getting about uh, sixty to eighty. <clears throat> and like I said, you should a, start to a good see. Deal this is the thing. Like, I I I, to I told him you should start a rap battle with E. Michael Jones, and he wouldn't do it, <laughs> and that that it, it would have caught fire. He should start titling his videos more clickbaity things, like yeah. "My Message to the Pope" in parentheses. <laughs> It'll surprise you. <laughs> but on a normal on a normal stream, the time and like I said, I'm not a big uh, follower of his, but. The times that I have checked in, I I usually see maybe twenty to forty tops, uh, if if right. that many. So I, I've I think I've told people before he's like maybe double to triple innate, but um, <laughs> <laughs> but but still six times a Jefferson Kim. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, or smartest man says this is a tier twelve cow. Do you uh, are, are, are you if you see this guy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. With the with the with the engineer hat. Yeah. yeah. You're you are never more than like the fifth or sixth view. <laughs> if you click on one of his videos, no matter how old it is, and they're all like forty five minutes long. <laughs> they're they're long as hell, man. I... <laughs> I found him in Scott's comment section. Yep. So that's one of uh, Boomer Scott's followers. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna talk about him next. Let's go ahead and move on to Boomer Scott. Uh, let me pull it up. This one's probably from you. Oh, yeah, this one. All right, it's, this is from four hours ago. Ladies and gentle gammas, Scott the Boomer Adams has just announced an indefinite social media break because he predicted a replay of 2016 and expected libs to be freaking out. Instead, those people are all laughing at him. So uh, fill yeah. us in on the uh, indefinite hiatus. It lasted about 90 minutes. <laughs> he announced it. <laughs> um, he he announced it on Real Coffee with Boomer Scott Adams, where uh -huh. yeah, he he was telling people that this is just like a movie, and in life things tend to work out just like they would in the movies. So we got like a little inverted kind of SSH sort of reasoning here. <laughs> and uh, in a movie, what would happen is the chips would be down for our hero Trump. And then, by God, he'd get his lawyers together, they'd huddle up, he'd give a motivational speech, and they'd get out there, and they'd win the presidency for him. And, you know, I'm not saying it'll happen, but would you doubt Trump? Fucking yes. Yes, I would. <laughs> so... <laughs> what where does this matter? Every, everything everything is just based on imaginary conversations. Like yeah. made up right. like stoner shit that like he dreams up in his head will become like actual things that like he saw and da 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 da. There's an entire book, Loser Think, that he wrote. It's just him like dunking on like random tweets that he saw one time. <laughs> well, for those who don't know, this man actually is a uh, a big uh weed smoker, right? Yeah, yeah. So every day for like sixty some years. Jesus Christ! <laughs> and when he streams, is he stoned when he's streaming, or does he attempt to at least be sober for that? There's, there's people who say they can tell, but uh -huh. like that's the thing is it's all just such bullshit. <laughs> Where, <laughs> well, d don't you think that there's got to be at least one person somewhere? Who, when they see that, they think, da 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 And, yeah, just these dumb, like, little logical games that are, like, okay in, like, a two-minute increment. But, yeah, we're talking, like, an yeah. hour a day of this bullshit. You, you can't do too much. He's really in love with goes. the sound of his own voice. But the problem is that it's not, like, some of the other ones where there's no one talking back. Because someone, like, just, like, screaming into a void, like, smartest man says guy. Mm -hmm. That's kind of funny. But, like, there's an entire feedback loop of people who, like, just tell him how brilliant he is. And, you know, absolutely Trump's going to win. He's going to get 50% of the black vote, which is something he predicted. 
Um, <laughs> and now that Biden won, he's going to be hunted in the streets because this was the thing was that uh, it, it's legal for Antifa to murder people now. OK, let's just take that. OK, sure. Whatever. Uh, and once Biden gets elected, like they'll just be completely off any any leash there, I guess, on now. And yeah. Uh, and they're gonna they're gonna go hunt down all the Trump supporters one by one and murder them, and there's nothing that's gonna stop that because Biden Biden can't do it because something something algorithms something something simulation something something two movies one screen. <laughs> how 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 it, much, how invested is he in that simulation thing? Is that is he serious about it? Is that? It's like a grift thing. Um, oh, it's, okay. it's, it's, it's like a power of positive thinking sort of oh. trick, like, like mind trick sort of thing. So he, like, he's real big on affirmations and hypnosis and a like, little bit uh, of the NLP, like the Kurgan. Yeah. Lo- like law of attraction type. Uh... Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. Huh. <laughs> so. <laughs> Which is why he like sort of went into self-help direction for a while and then kind of put the brakes on it after his stepson died of an overdose. This is what his main, his main self-help book, he says in the introduction to it, that he wrote it for him. And then, well. I guess he didn't, it didn't work. The help, the self-help didn't no, work. No, his, ta- his, his talent stack was not robust enough. <laughs> so where is Scott going to go from here? I know you had predicted uh, early on that, I, actually, I think it was the last week or two, that uh, yeah. he was going to follow in, in Cerno's footsteps and get out. You you think that's gonna stick now? Generally, yeah. I think that if Trump, I, he'll he'll last through the rest of the Trump presidency, so until January or so, and mm-hmm. then I think he'll start doing them less and less frequency, and I think he'll eventually try to move his entire operation over to locals, and then maybe just do like one a week or something. And I think he he's another one of these people that absolutely needs the chat because. Like, uh, yeah. Th- th- this is this is how he'll pull things, and this is why he was so so convinced Trump would win because he would be like, so, uh, like, don't you think this Hunter Biden thing is like absolutely terrible? One of the worst things you've ever seen in the American Republic, and everybody in the chat who has ten flag emojis in their like username, it's like, <laughs> yes, 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 absolutely, yes, 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 yes. He's like, oh, okay, yeah, definitely, uh, <laughs> but like, people didn't care, <laughs> and yeah. And, that's, and, they could, and, and most normies couldn't see anything about it anyway because, like, mainstream, obviously mainstream media wasn't talking about it. And, yeah, it was like a contrived sort of trap that everybody walked into. And that's the danger of the, uh, <clears throat> the, uh, the as you said, the positive feedback loop that we, we talk about often with many of these men. Is they're, not, <clears throat> they're, not getting, they're not getting any other view besides what the pay pigs are saying or what... The, what 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 would you call it the uh, what did we call it last week the fin the fin dom <laughs> right the fin dom I would like to address X phalanx X in the chat at the moment who said I heard this Oso oh dude is a whitey bit guilty <laughs> all right let's go to uh, our last our last story of the night before we get to gamma of the week uh, we have Yoba wraps up his campaign for Trump. And actually, Sad. we have a pretty good link here. There's a video link. Uh, this one was also for from Carl Green. Uh, baked in full-on delusion mode. Also, fun facts. Arizona, state where Baked lives, flipped to Biden, and it also turns out Baked Alaska was homeschooled crushing. <laughs> I'm not sure what that has to do with anything. But uh, let's go ahead and play this video really quickly. And... Hopefully it comes through. Let me see. Hopefully it comes through the on the two lines. Yeah, squatters rights. Squatters rights. <laughs> and you probably won't be able to hear this. Squatters rights. We ain't leaving, bitch. We ain't so fucking like, leaving. Oh, dude, time to go. You gotta go. Like, nope. oh, well, I'm gonna, all, I'm gonna lower no, it just a bit because it's won. not necessarily important what saying, he says. But it, I watched, I watched a rights. bit of this earlier. The White House. Rights on the White House. Dude. Yes. I watched a bit of it earlier, and uh, they're in Dallas, Texas, right now. Yeah, and he's uh, what nine days sober at this point? Yeah. We're gonna well, supposedly uh, he's been uh, well. He's one of those like uh, early early Owen sobriety. He's he claims to be sober, but he still drinks like kombucha. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Sure. 
but uh, yeah, he's not looking too sober right here. Uh, anyway, it's medicinal uh, math. Yeah. I've been. I watched it earlier because he titled it Trump's uh, Trump's victory, something like that. Um, but they're on a they're on a uh, guided fishing boat in Dallas. And and you can see these crazy looking men. They're all manic and insane. Um, but as, as we've talked about before, this was uh, this was their big campaign to <laughs> to to get Trump elected. Um, and in this video, he's actually saying that uh, I think he's he's pushing the he's also pushing the civil war grift. He was saying if they don't uh, if Trump if any, if any funny business happens, they're going to be out in the streets fighting for Trump and all this stuff. So, but. Who, Ted? Ted's going to be there? No, uh, like, <laughs> Yoba and they, well, of course, Ted's going to be there. Uh, Yoba and the RV tars are going to be out in the streets. Uh, you got this little short black man. You have a, a, a diabetic drunk named Only Use Me Blade. You have a couple of legit meth heads that are on that RV. But is that, uh, what do you think about that? Let's, let's talk a little bit about the, the Civil War II, as it's come to be known. What are your predictions for Civil War II? Uh, it won't come to pass. <laughs> Pretty much the same as my predictions always been. Uh, yeah, everybody <laughs> who thinks that that's going to become a thing doesn't under like can't, still can't tell me who's going to fight this. What organization that one has weapons and two is not rife with feds? Go, I'll wait. Yeah, it's not. <clears throat> It's people leave out because you would need details. an organization. You like you, you wouldn't be able to like if you hear that there's just like fighting in downtown of your city. There's no way to like go join an organized you know with know which side is which and blah blah. blah. But yeah, yeah. There's a it, lot that that goes into now. <clears throat> there's a lot that it, goes it, into it. It also assumes with, that billionaires are just going to let all of society just collapse. You know, right? Well. <laughs> just the federal government to be in with where and where does the federal government come into play in all this also because they they describe two groups of citizens and right I, and the military again, is like just gonna said, do what yeah like you said what groups are these is it well, i mean i don't know um, the michigan militia versus portland antifa oh okay yeah, this red, is like I mean, single rednecks and sj dubs i mean what, yeah. you, you can't really you can't really define those groups. There's not going to be a uniform for this for sure. This is the T-ball of conflict. This is one of the things that I've, I've, because this is not the first time. It's like I said, every year we hear this thing. Every year we hear this narrative push. Oh, the, the country's going to break up over this election. I know it happened with uh, Obama during Obama's term. They, um, Obama's two terms. Uh, that was often parroted the Civil War thing. Uh, we heard it. Last it's the time end of the. Trump. It's the end of the republic. People said that after Obama too. Yeah, yeah. In, so. in two thousand eight, people were absolutely losing their minds. This is, oh, this yeah. is a lot. A lot. A and, lot of the people that are currently losing their minds are too young to understand this. But in two thousand eight, people literally thought it was the end of the world. And and it, to be fair, <laughs> Biden is is white. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, people were crazy. We're losing. We're we're going crazy when a black man was elected president. <laughs> but Biden has the benefit of being white, so it's, it can't be all that bad. But now I I'm of the same mind that the Civil War two is not happening. It's not, I've said this often to many people. It's probably it, not going to happen in form. our lifetimes. Right. Um. It, it, if 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 ever it's going to be humans versus robots, just like in the John Scalzi book, Lock In. <laughs> However. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's fear porn. It was election year. Get out the vote. Fear porn. Uh, that you know they, they they wanted you to think that this is your one chance. And by God, if we don't, that, you know, Antifa's coming to your house just like your Cassandra Fairbanks. If you don't get out yeah. there and smash that smash that Trump button right away. But that's most people. If you really get them alone and you really get them honest, they will tell you that Antifa is not a real present threat in their lives but you know what not having health insurance is especially in a lot of like the upper midwest and trump you know for all you want to say about him never came out with even a plan in four years like he could have just like put something out and let it get aoc'd and be like see like the demon rats don't want to give you amazing health care or whatever yeah. uh 
but but that didn't even like you couldn't have Jared Kushner just like throw it throw together some bullshit like that's it's sort of like maybe you don't deserve a second term if you, if, you, if you can't address like some of the biggest problems in the country. Well, uh, let's let's talk about this briefly because uh, we're uh, we're going on an, almost an hour and we still got the gamma of the week. But I was I was talking with a few people earlier today, and a lot of them had concerns. Excuse me, <coughs> a lot of them had concerns about. Um, the big tech sem- censorship that was coming. Uh, <laughs> and they pointed to like Trump's tweets being uh, censored and whatnot. But <clears throat> what, uh, the, one of the things I told him was, well, why didn't Trump take care of it when he had the chance? You know, I mean, <laughs> that was uh, supposed to be one of the one of the. Uh, his promises for this whole time was to rein in the big tech censorship, and that never happened. Um, if we're going to talk about the downfall or where this man came up short. What, uh, what do you think about that? And what do you, what else do you think he could have done in the four years that he had? Uh, pardon James, Alex fields. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> uh, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Okay. Uh, I, I, I don't know. The, the, there's, probably uh, like a lot more I think that there could have been a relief package prior to election day if he were just better at sort of corralling people or had any like r- rapport with these people in congress maybe more could have gotten done i don't know could have used like a little bit of a charm offensive but it just sort of seemed to move all to twitter and aoc is kind of the same way and i'm not really a fan of hers but uh yeah i i, I really think that having somebody uh, old as shit and who's uh, corrupt as all get out just like in days of your should uh, you know maybe maybe it'll be a nice little chill interval who, who knows uh, what do you think let's let's get uh, your final word on the uh, the big tech censorship where's it gonna go in your opinion <clears throat> the, uh, like kind of I think they'll continue to do what's profitable for them, just like they ha- just like they pretty much have been doing. Um, they there haven't really been all too many like point to like cases that you can point to that are really super egregious, in my opinion. That uh-huh. normal people on the street can cite and be like, okay, this person got kicked off of X platform. That was really insane and fucked up. But yeah, and I think when and, and I know because they're uh, smart about how they do this shit. Yeah, you know? I know you and I have talked about this in the past. The ones that do get kicked off are the ones that kind of deserve it. I mean, that's right. Like, are you seeing Newt Gingrich get kicked off of these places? <laughs> <laughs> um, let's go ahead and get the uh, or Ginny gamma. Thomas, because that's the thing is Ginny Thomas is kind of a shit lord. Clarence Thomas's wife. Like she she posted a lot of Q memes that, that that made a lot of people mad, and she trolls people a lot. Uh, but even she's never been kicked off of places. Why? Because she never says like shit that's like specifically racist or trying to get kicked off. Yeah, yeah, and that's usually what it comes down to. It's it's intentional. But I I, I, I do think a lot of this stuff with like filtering news items and whatnot could potentially be on a bad path. But you know, we'll right. see. Right. All right. But my I, friend. I, I wouldn't like vote based on it or anything. I think that's dumb. Like, I don't think there's there's much that the president can do really about it. It's like it's Congress more than anything. Let's let's go ahead and move on to the gamma of the week. We have our three entries today, <clears throat> three entries this week, as we always do. And audience, you as you know or may not know, you will have the chance to vote on your favorite gamma of the week. Uh, this week we got our first entry is only gammas will ban me with meth be nice and we have <laughs> let me look at let me pull it up closely here uh, Owen Benjamin in 2012 Owen Benjamin in 2020 uh, in 2012 he lived in Hollywood he had a job that paid well he had friends in 2020 he lives in Sandpoint Idaho he's been unemployed for two years with no prospects he depends on charity to feed his family, and he has no friends. So, <laughs> and underneath it says, meth be nice. So what do you think? <clears throat> we've talked about that before. Is it, <laughs> is it meth, allegedly, yay or nay? 
No, I think he's uh I think he's just spiraling things upward into his nose. <laughs> All right, so that was uh, entry number one. Only gammas will ban me. That was quality. I like the format on that meme, too. Like, it was really good, bold type, very readable. Uh, when you're scrolling through, like, it's nice. It's to the point. There's not a ton of words on it. But the meme craftsmanship on that was good. Yeah, it was definitely classic. Uh, there we got it larger. Let's move on to entry number two, which is uh, popular newcomer Titty Salad, and Titty Salad. This is her entry for Amazon reviews. She says, "I reviewed Feed the Bear on Amazon, and there's a few negative comments, but don't worry, bears come to the aid of their lord and master." The last image is a review I posted, but I got a response saying they'll take several days to be posted. Uh, so this one was very popular. Let me check out the uh, the upvotes we had on it. Uh, that one got 25 upvotes. Well, it was removed for what? For brigading, I guess? Or I uh, don't remember at the moment. I I, I know there was a follow-up to it. Um, Awful Eyes didn't provide that for Okay, me. well, just remember <laughs> that these people build their own platforms. So uh, it, it does no good to email Amazon and tell them that they should, they should get rid of him. And it certainly... Uh, doesn't do any good to to email webtoons and uh, tell them about you know Ted having certain opinions on certain news events in Scandinavian countries. Yeah, and this since you bring that up, this is on Amazon. This is for his uh, his comedy specials that are still on Amazon. We've got some intel from Still Nacho Friend who says I think the review the review was removed because it contained a link because. You know, oh, otherwise they think, the, yeah, I'd link to the it hor- to the Owen Baker subreddit. Squirting ladies want to meet you. <laughs> so uh, anyway, that was a, a very good ankle bite um, for the, the right, and he still saw it because he reads the Reddit. Yeah. So, oh yeah, one way or like, another. You, you 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 post it there, and then you know he still sees it anyway. Well, and it's this beautiful. is this is the type of man that will not only read his own subreddit, but he'll also will read his own Amazon reviews. <laughs> So, oh, for yeah, sure. One way or another, he he got a he got Ted a writes his own Amazon reviews. That's why he got kicked <laughs> yes. off. Yes, that's that is true. Also, <laughs> so that was uh, Titty Salad for Amazon reviews is entry number two, and finally entry number three is our very own two-time winner, still not sure friend for her excellent uh, and quick intel, which I have dubbed Brendan Crickbait. Because it actually got the man to our our subreddit, and he actually on this um, post, the one she did about the uh, his tweets, he actually did an informal AMA at the bottom of that. Really? I was yeah. Unfamiliar. Did you miss out? Did you miss out on that? <laughs> no, I'll, I'll I'll be on site uh, immediately after the show. Yeah, he came in. He came into the subreddit. He he was there, <laughs> interacting with uh, Carl at first, and then he left his own comment. Oh Jesus, what a welcome! AMA. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, showed so him we, a little blaze, a little samurai Jeff. Yeah, he got to meet all the greats. <laughs> so we have uh, that's our number three entry. Still not your friend. We have again now, Gamas. Wait till. After I read off all three, and then you can vote. Uh, we have Only Gammas Will Ban Me with Meth Be Nice is number one. Titty Salad for Amazon Reviews is number two. And Still Not Your Friend for Brendan Crickbait is number three. So if you will, Gammas, please vote now. Put a one, two, or three in the chat, and Starshine will add them up. So we have, uh, we have a potential... Three-time winner here. Ooh. All right, the votes are coming in kind of slow. It, the chat's been uh, <clears throat> chat's been acting kind of funny tonight. I don't, not not necessarily the chat itself, but <clears throat> no, they're not no, humorous people. No, not. <laughs> uh, there's some there's some kind of lag or something with uh, <clears throat> with D Live. It looks like which would not be. Out of the ordinary. <laughs> oh, well, they're trying to silence all the Trump supporters, you know. So, BitChute went down, and now they're trying to silence Bit shoot. D-Live. 
the home of greats such as Owen Benjamin and the Ralph Report. Well, that's where I caught uh, Baked Alaska. He's uh, <clears throat> he's back on D Live. I think he just got a seven day suspension for what IRL streaming or something. Yeah, yeah. For I mean, of course, his his crazy uh, <clears throat> the crazy IRL thing with the damn super chats going off in public and whatnot. Um, <clears throat> so let's get those. That's votes smart in. of D Live, honestly. That probably shields him from a lot of legal liability. Truth be told. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure how it it works with D. I I didn't think that it it was uh, possible to get banned off D. Live that at least that quickly, because oh no, Owen, it's definitely possible. I've I mean, Owen's done. been yeah. there this whole time, <clears throat> and I think uh, Mr. Carl pointed that out. Uh, speaking of legal liability, have you had the chance to read any Patreon docs lately? Um, not, not, uh, not in the last week. I heard there was some right, ones, but I you, haven't. It, yeah. Checked if, them out. if any of you are looking for some recommended reading, uh, I, I recommend lock in by John Scalzi. And I also recommend, uh, Fred Norton's, uh, reply to the demurrer in, uh, Patreon versus Ayur. Uh, real, real, real good reading. Uh, there's some solid ankle bites in there. They call out a bunch of names. They stop short of saying he's six, four. That would have been good. Uh, if they would have devoted a section to his height, but they didn't, they just got straight to the extortion attempts and whatever. But it was, it's a really like well contained document. And I guess there's some sort of sniping with people over in the Owen sub over whether it's a separate lawsuit, which yeah. it's not, but um, it's, it, yeah, you, you find it on the documents for the other one. So it's just a, it's a, it's, it, it, if I'm wrong, I'm willing to be corrected on this, but it looks like it's just one more filing on the same suit. Yeah. They've just attached a bunch of numbers and specifics to things. Yeah, that's that's the way I read it also, and I think we talked about that uh, last week. Um, <clears throat> so we have our results, and our first three-time winner is Still Not Your Friend with Brendan Crickbait. So congratulations to Nacho for the for the uh, another victory. All right, my friend. We've got uh, we've got our hour in. We've got a good solid hour of grifter speak. We got the yep. the special GSK election review, and uh, we'll do another one in four years, I guess. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. When unless uh, unless the President country Kanye. completely goes to hell um, in the next. No, then we'll what? just do one for the first ethnogalactic. Uh, I guess <laughs> I guess it would be a coronation. Because, <laughs> yeah. you know, I, that I, you know, th that was the one thing about this being an election year is you've seen a lot less of the monarchy LARP. You used to see uh, people talking about how they were based monarchists yeah. walking around yeah. and then Trump needing reelection and it being a close race. Shut those people the fuck up for a little while. So unfortunately, they might return. Now, it's not an election year, but yeah. th that that yeah. and everything else will be covered on Gamma Secret Kings. Yes, sir. And that's our show for tonight. Secret Kings and Queens. Big thanks to Oso de Maricon, producers Awful Lies, Still Not Your Friend, and Starshine. Again, shout out to uh, Foreigner Hoon for the excellent show graphics that he does for us. They're, they're very nice. I really appreciate that. Um, good night, denizens of the night. internet. We'll see you next week on your GSK Reddit review. <laughs> <laughs>